Recently retired Steve Nash leaves as both the best Canadian basketball player and the best head of hair of all time. While no one's touching the lovely brown locks, could young talents like Andrew Wiggins even come close to what Nash has accomplished on the hardwood? We welcome back Anthony Cornelli, Nicholas Bully, member of the Montreal Alouettes, and David Hurley. He is the only basketball player to do a 50-40-90 four times in his career. 50-40-90, 50% from the field goal, 40% from the three-point line, and 90% free throws. Monster performances by Steve Nash, especially when you consider basketball is not really the Canadian uh, sport. The Canadian sport, and for him to have won back-to-back -back MVP says a lot. Now that we've bridged the gap, is it possible for another generation of young players to do something remotely similar to what Steve Nash has been able to? Do? I think Andrew Wiggins is going to be Canada's biggest hope right now. I mean, coming out as the number one highly, highly touted prospect when it came to high school, and number one pick in the NBA draft. This guy has got some all kinds of skills. Now, can he do what Steve Nash did? There's not many players who did what Steve Nash did, regardless of what nation he's from. And of course, there's no other player that's going to get anywhere near the great hair that he had. Uh, I mean, really, realistically, <laughs> free throw shooting the way he did. Nicholas is looking at hey, what about like, my hair? Nick's got some solid hair, my friend. Nobody Worked has some solid hair. Yeah. 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 CFL's top 10 hair right yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. But Andrew Wiggins is going to be the next hope, but no one's going to be able to shoot free throws like this guy shot. He, he went 934 percentage in a season. 934. Do you understand how yeah. many free throws you have to hit to get him perfect like that? That's Look, incredible. He got, he got a Division I scholarship to Santa Clara from a videotape from a high school basketball game. Steve Nash is a special player. He's not, he's 6'3", you know, we probably came into the league at 180 pounds. He wasn't a dominant athlete, but he had a supreme talent. Someone recognized it, gave him a chance in the NCAA. He's all-time leader in free throw percentage. He's third all-time in assists. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. you know the old question, who have you made great? He's made so many players around him great. You know, he's Dirk in the Nowitzki, company. Dirk Nowitzki, awesome. yeah. He's in the company of LeBron James, Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, for the only player to win back-to-back -back MVPs. Like, yeah. And actually, he's the shortest one yeah, to win two, the MVP. Two, two under six foot three. Uh, six foot six. Six foot six, yeah. yeah. At six two, foot two back three. Back-to-back MVP awards under six foot six because the lowest th threshold will be six incredible. foot six. incredible. Wow. So it shows a lot about Steve Nash, what he's done for Canadian Absolute, basketball. Absolutely. And you're speaking of uh, a Andrew Wiggins uh, and, and Steve Nash is saying that he's made other, other players around him better. Um, I think Andrew Wiggins, he's 20 years old. He's a young gun coming yeah. in and... You know, may, he needs he needs a guy like Steve Nash around him that's going to help yeah, him absolutely. be a better player because they're not playing the same position. He's got, you know Andrew Wiggins is the guy's going to be attacking the rim, going to be scoring some points. You yeah. know, so having a guy yeah. that can pass him the ball and and just, that's, that's just, what he a needs. A guy averaging 12 dimes a game is incredible. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. He doesn't need to dribble. He's got exactly, 20 points up on the board. Exactly. Exactly. Right? And Andrew Wiggins is going to like you said, he's going to score more points, mm. but no one's going to get as many assists like this no. guy had. It was incredible. <laughs> You got you to put it up there, though, with regards to Canadian achievements when you really think about it. And I don't think he gets the praise that he truly deserves. I mean, when you He's look at I mean, basketball is global, right? Mm -hmm. Hockey is North American. Obviously, you have Russia, Finland, Sweden, etc. But in terms of a truly global, global sport, sport, basketball is that. And when you, you get back-to-back -back MVPs, you're a young kid. Look at, look at how many kids. I think the biggest legacy is how many kids are playing in, in the March Madness tournament. Yeah. It's about 28 kids playing. Uh, Ryerson University just made it to the CIS Final Eight. There are so many things that Steve Nash has done that aren't quantitative mm -hmm. that I think will, will outlive his, his tenure with the NBA. I think it's quite impressive for what, what Canadians are doing. Uh, as uh, Adam mentioned, there's all about 30 players in the March Madness right now. I don't believe that the Canadian uh, Athletic Association is investing that much money in basketball. So it's a term of money in terms of numbers. We produced Wiggins that's come out. But how many other star athletes are going to come and out? Anthony Bennett is not the, the number one pick at Cleveland and hoped he was. No, he's Minnesota's problem. No, but, but back to, yeah. <laughs> but back to back uh, number, number one, one overall pick. picks exactly. is impressive. It's a good sign. And that's, Definitely Steve Nash should be regarded as one of the best Canadian athletes of all time. Yeah. Absolutely. You put him up with the Wayne Gretzkys, the Donovan Mario Lemaires, the Donovan, Donovan, Donovan Bailey. Donovan Bailey as well. You know, he is one of the greatest. And people need to appreciate him. This mm -hmm. is a big moment, his retirement. And I think we should give his, our hats off to the guy because what he did is is astronomical and incredible. One of the big moments Absolutely. of this show is having you on, Nicholas Bully. Thanks for taking the time. Really appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. I know you've got a lot of stuff going on. We always catch you in action with the Montreal Alouettes, but I think you've got something else going on as well. Absolutely, we do. Um, I've actually started my clothing company. We're, uh, we're you know, it's mostly sporting gear. Uh, we should be kicking off here in the beginning of May. And uh, a part of our profit is actually going to be given back as scholarships to, uh, to young athletes. And uh, we're going to be, you know, important for us is, is school. It's school and then sports. So it's going to be, we're going to be looking over the guys' grades, the girls' grades, and the athletes' grades, and it's going to be important for us. 
And, uh, it's and also like, going to be important for us to receive some, 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 you know, some, some sweet well. gear. There you go. I can definitely use some workout clothes. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for taking the time. Really Absolutely. appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you. Stay with us. Reed's Rant is up next. You don't want to miss it. We're going to have